Okay, so we're here with Carly and we're gonna show you guys the difference between Castle Flex and the green strap, okay? If I were to feel the bottom of her plantar fascia and I used to put my finger there and press into the bottom of her foot, it would be soft, okay? And that's how I know it's not engaged. So the only place I feel a stretch sort of is here. Um, I don't feel it anywhere from here down. And my hands are actually killing, you can see, just from holding onto the rope. Can we see your hands? Okay. Um, I actually feel like I have to let go um, and like, go like this. Okay, it's been 15 seconds. Yeah. You, you have, okay. The other thing that I'm noticing is that if we switch the camera angle, you can actually see that her left shoulder is above her right shoulder, right? So that's creating an imbalance in her upper body, which is gonna create a pull on her neck. And there you can see that pull happening. You can see the strain, okay? So there's an imbalance in the upper body. You have lack of intensity and effectiveness in the posterior chain. The plantar fascia is not engaged and... I also have some pulling in my low back here. I guess because my shoulders are uneven. Um, you know, I'm feeling a lot of pain here. Okay, so you don't want to try to fix one thing and then hurt six other things. Mm -hmm. And that's the issue with the strap. That's why stretching has really never caught on. It's just not comfortable, it's not fun, and it's very stressful. Now let's try this with the Castle Flex. Place. Just roll it enough so that she can place her heel in the heel hole. And then she rolls it back. Nice and smooth. Okay, now start at the five degree position and tell me what you're feeling. Oh, I'm feeling an incredible stretch all the way from my Achilles all the way up to my glutes. And you feel that in your plantar fascia? Because I see your yes. toes. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, good. All right, so what I'm noticing immediately besides you feeling the stretch in your entire posterior chain is you have perfect alignment. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, when you hold a band or a strap, the left hand has to be above the right hand. So just let's show what that looks like. So turn the bar vertical as if, and exactly. So you see how her left hand is above her right hand. You have to be above, one hand has to be above and that creates a shoulder misalignment when you're using a band or a strap. So this is stretching Carly's posterior chain, her entire posterior chain. But if she wants to actually isolate her hamstrings, what she could do is roll it up so that the name of the brand starts to disappear. That's why we created the logo like that. And then she's going to lift her hands to the ceiling and keep her knees straight. And she doesn't have to go back too far, but as she's pulling back, this gives the lower half of her posterior chain a rest. Mm -hmm. So her Achilles, plantar fascia, lower calf and upper calf are not engaged. And she's just activating her hamstring as she pulls back. And it's a more intense stretch. Mm -hmm. Now, staying in that position, so her leg is not going to move. What I'd love for her, you to do, Carly, is pull the bar down to your waist and watch what happens with the toes. See how the toes come down? And that's going to give her a very intense posterior chain stretch. And it's important to remember to actually tilt your toes to your nose. Because when I remind myself to do that, it's just even better of a stretch.